What's going on, folks? It's K Spade, the prospect. I am back today with a much anticipated wish list video. A video I really should have brought you guys a very long time ago, but better late than never. That's what they tell me anyway. But I am back today with my NBA 2K17 Pro Am wish list video. Uh, the backdrop will be NBA 2K16 Pro Am. It's a really good game. However, it's going to be tough to watch because both teams had on gray uniforms, which is something that I want to address in today's wish list. I'm going to do something a little different with this wish list, something that I've never done before. I'm going to break down my, my items I'm wishing for into two different categories, like a mode specific wish list as well as a gameplay wish list. Some of the things that I want to see fixed in Pro Am isn't limited to Pro Am. Like it's an issue in the actual gameplay of the game anyway. So let me get into it. I didn't poll the community to see how many people like this or dislike that. So you're gonna see some stuff that maybe you love. You're gonna see some stuff maybe you disagree with me on it. And that's completely fine. That's what the comment section is for. Air your grievances. If you like my list, cool. If you don't, cool. Let me know how you feel about it. Maybe, you know, you see my list and it inspires an idea in you and we can take both of those ideas to 2K. That being said, like I said, this list is a little bit late. So I don't really expect to see an impact on this year's game. And TMM, shout out to those guys. I did actually speak with those guys and we compiled the list together because between me and those guys, we played a lot of Pro-Am. Most of us are crew players from the original crew, NBA 2K10, NBA 2K11. So some of our opinions are, are you know, rooted in the fact that we actually played the mode that we feel like Pro-Am is kind of mimicking, all right? First thing I would like to see, I want to see online players. Am I saying that you can't play with this player offline? No. I mean, I wouldn't care if he was limited just to Pro-Am, Park, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Somebody gonna wanna play my career and they're gonna wanna use that player, that's fine. But I would love to see when I don't have to play my career to upgrade my online player. Maybe I should be able to upgrade them in both places. I wouldn't care if you could only upgrade them by playing online, but I would love to be able to get badges for my player from playing Pro-Am. I would love to be able to unlock upgrade blocks from playing Pro-Am if that's what I want to play. Don't tie the two modes together necessarily. Don't make me have to play my career in order to play Pro-Am. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that's kind of lame. Uh, online, my player. The second thing I want to talk about, the, the um, arena creation and the uniform creation is pretty much A1. I love it. Uh, adding, adding to it though, moving forward, one of the things I think they should do Sometimes you can give people a little bit too much control. And what I mean by that is with uniforms. You got to block out dark unis. And, and, you know, whether you're doing a home or away, some colors got to be blocked out. You shouldn't be able to have a team at home wearing black and an away team wearing black. Or the two teams wearing gray like what's going on back behind me. That's crazy. And it makes for a game that's just confusing. You know, just let's, let's stop that. Same thing with courts. Uh, some people like black courts, some people like white courts. I don't have a problem with it, but you got to make sure it works. If they're using a black court, they can't use black uh, perimeter lines. And, you know, don't don't let them cheese like that. And I know what the argument is. People are going to say, hey, it's just as confusing for them as it is for y'all. True, but just because they want to be damn confused don't mean we want to be. So I would like to see some of those controls be limited. Also, moving forward, I think it'd be dope if you unlocked more creation or, or more options based off of your wins. Like maybe you don't have so many color palettes. Or maybe you don't have so many different arenas or different, um, you know, the low, the advertising table or the check-in table. Maybe, maybe you start off with only a few options. And as you continue to play and get more wins, you get more options. That would be dope. You play against another team, you go in their arena, and you can instantly tell, yo, these guys play a lot. They got this, they got that. They got stadium sounds that's in the game that actually don't work. It would be cool if all that stuff worked. Mode specific co-GMs. This one is a big one for me and probably any other YouTuber because I just flat out don't have the leisure time that I wish I had. So you got my guys who want to play, and if I can't play, those guys aren't playing, or they're playing on a separate account, a separate team, should I say. So what you got is, you got 400 games played on my crew, 300 games played on Raps crew, 100 games, like those could all be TMM wins if I didn't have to be present every single time my team played. So let's make that happen, 2K, that's a big one. A practice option. 
I would love to be able to practice with my team against maybe, you know, some CPU drones. I hate to call them drones, but I would like to be able to play with my team in an arena. So what you run into is this. Me and my team, we will try to draw up plays, but the way to share them with the team would be tough because even in the my core, it's a delay. So what I see, is the things that I'm doing, you're not gonna see it for another second or two. So it makes it really tough for us to get out there and you know, somebody comes up with a new play, it's very tough to explain it to the rest of the team if they can't see what's going on in real time. So, you know, I would love to see a practice option. Or, here's an idea, make the my court more than 3v3. Let us be able to play games in the my court. Make the my court a real size, not that little elementary school court, and let us play five on five in the my court. That would be completely fine with me. Uh, if you're gonna talk about being able to practice and stuff like that, then the next thing that comes to mind to me is private lobbies. And once again, the private lobby is not necessary if we can really play in the my court like I think we all thought we could do. I was like, yo, let's invite five people over here. And they was like, Spade, what, what are you doing? I'm like, what you mean? I want to play a game in the my court. They was like, no, you can only do 3v3. I, I really didn't know that, all right? Another option I would like to see brought to the game is real play calling. I want my point guard to be able to call plays. I want to see play art. If we don't, you know, if we don't know the plays, I want to see play art. And more importantly, on defense, we should be able to call plays. Because if you get a teammate that lags out, a lo and behold, somebody who's only playing with four users and a CPU, it's absolutely no way you can run a zone if you want to run a zone. Can't do it. Whereas if you can call a zone, like you could back in 2K10, 2K11, even the computer understood plays and he knew where he was supposed to be. That will make the game so much easier if we can call plays. Uh, a play creator is another thing we will be, you know, appreciative to have because even though with some dope plays in the game, sometimes we come up with ideas like instead of doing this, if you can move here and here, let us be able to create plays and, and draw up plays in a play creator and then like add them to our playbook or whatever. I think that would be dope as hell. This next one right here is going to be a tad bit controversial. I don't know why. But for the longest, I've been saying that the spacing is bad because the court is too small. I had somebody from 2K, you know, reach out to me and ensure me that the court isn't too small. The court is the exact same size as it is in NBA 2K11. You take one glance back at NBA 2K11 and the glaring, obvious difference is the size of the player models. So the court probably is the same size, but back in 2K11, the players was much smaller. So we got to do one of the two. We either got to... Make the player model smaller, which I don't think anybody's in favor of because we want to see the detail in our players. But if we're going to go with the bigger player models, we have to have a bigger court. You simply have to give us a bigger court. Now, it's not as bad when you're playing with your team because everybody kind of understands where people should be and understand movement. But still, a bigger court would make the game so much better because it would make the defense matter more. Like right now, the closeout speed seems unrealistic like when i when i polled my team they came back and told me spade closeout speed tell them to turn down the closeout speed like i told them there's nothing wrong with the closeout speed the court is just too small so you can get from the perimeter to the paint hella quick because it's too small the player models are too big i don't think the people at 2k will agree with me on that one so hopefully i'm not the only one in the community that feels this way and you guys can kind of back me on that and maybe we can get some change on that the next thing that i got down here is fans you load into your arena and you got this fans thing that's ticking up top and nobody 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 really understands what that's based on it's somewhat based on your fans in my career somewhat based on your wins and losses and whether or not you got a computer teammate or a human teammate i i don't i don't really care for that format i think it should be tied directly to your wins I mean, like whether or not you're on a streak or, or things like that. If I won 10 games in a row, I don't care how many my career fans I got. That's what I'm saying. I don't want it tied so tightly to my career. I don't want it tied so tightly because let's face it, it doesn't play anything like my career. So why does everything else from my career have to, you know what I'm saying, come over? If we playing good, if we ranked and we kicking a whole lot of ass, I want my fans up. And I want the fans to be more tuned into what's going on. If we beating a team by 30, I want them to probably leave. What are they sticking around for? You know, uh, uh, just stuff like that. Like, you'll be beating a team by 20, and they'll go to the free throw line, and, they, and their fans will be having the thunder sticks. They'll be showing their ass over there like it really matters when it don't. Speaking of stuff like that, I also want to see commentary added. 
Now for me, that's not a big one. This one kind of comes from my, my teammates and I understand it because I got an opportunity to run with some other crews on PlayStation and they're not as talkative as my crew. My crew, we never shut up. We talked the full time, so I wouldn't hear the commentary anyway. But I was running with another team and it was just mad quiet. And I was like, good grief, like this is a quiet game. And I, that was, it took me running with that other crew to realize how quiet the game sounds because it's, it's no commentary. Stamina. Stamina is a big one that I want to see added. Um, I was okay with it not being a bench to sub out, even though it was a picture tweeted from Operation Sports pre-launch that had a bench. It was a cat over there that looked like me. I think it was Quincy AC or somebody. I saw him on the bench. I thought it was me. And then we got the game and he wasn't there. So if it is a bench and, and people get fatigued and you sub them out, that's fine. I'm, I'm good with that. But even if it's not a bench, I'm good with that. But you have to punish people who abuse stamina. Anybody who play Pro-Am, you know what people do, right?